Hey YouTube, what's going on? SciGuy29 coming at you here for episode 4 of Crafts and Cards, where I drink a craft beer, tell you a little bit about it, show you some cards, try to connect the cards and the beer somehow. This one today is kind of a loose connection, but I think it's going to work. Shouldn't be as long as my last video, but here we go. So today, we're going to mix it up. We've had an Oktoberfest. We've had a couple of IPAs, and we're going to go completely opposite end of the spectrum now. And we are going to go with a Nitro Milk Stout from Left Hand Brewing Company in Longmont, Colorado. So this is a great beer to me. Uh, nice. I love dark beers. I love porters. I love stouts. Uh, stuff like that. This is really smooth. Has chocolatey taste to it. Uh, I got to read the little blurb from their website. So bear with me as I, as I look over to read it. It says, Experience America's Stout. Milk Stout Nitro is a full sensory experience. Gaze at the mesmerizing cascade of all those tiny nitro bubbles. Breathe in the aromas of roasted coffee, milk, chocolate, brown sugar, and vanilla cream. Right there. You know, it's, it's like dessert in a can. Uh, this is a little different in the fact that when you pour it, and I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit so you can see this a little better. Um, it's a hard pour. You know, most beers, you, you know, you kind of tip the glass off to the angle and let it go so you don't have too much head. This isn't that case. So I want you to listen to this. Sounds good, doesn't it? You can see the nitro there. Open that up. And when you pour it, it is a hard pour. You just dump it in. And you'll see things as we go. You see the nitro bubbles going. And this is great because no matter how hard you pour it, it's not coming out of that pint glass. Now it calls, the brewery itself says to use a, a stout glass. Don't have one of those handy. Now you can see, you can see it start to come up from the bottom. It'll work its way up. So I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. Okay. Uh, kind of nice roasted goodness. Uh, found this beer at a little place. We have a, a town about, I don't know, 15 miles, 10 to 15 miles north of us. Uh, it's a town of about 800 people, but they have just a phenomenal restaurant. Uh, great bar, and this is where I first had this beer. So I've got the six-pack in the back. They used to come in four-packs, uh, but now they're putting them out in six-packs and only jacked the price about a dollar where I buy my beers. So uh, certainly something to look forward to. So as you can see, it's just about done settling out. So I'm going to get that first drink in. Oh, yeah, good stuff right there. So we'll set that off to the side. So for today's cards, um, obviously Longmont, Colorado, not a lot going on. Uh, could go Colorado Rockies, not going to do that right now. Uh, because this is such a smooth beer to me, uh, I thought I'd go with players that I think are smooth. So got a wide range of stuff here. Mostly baseball, got one football in here. Uh, let me know what you think about my choice of players that are smooth. Um, these are all slabs again this week. Uh, my slab collection is growing. It's not anywhere near what you see from a lot of guys uh, on YouTube. But uh, first one is one I really like. This is a 2018 update uh, Juan Soto in a PSA 9. Okay, he is my probably absolute favorite current player right now to watch play. Uh, the guy is just, he, the guy can do it all. I just love the guy's swing. Uh, just the way he, he lets the bat fly is just, I just love the way he, he gets after it. Now, these next, this next two are from guys from when I was uh, late in high school, or late in college, early part of my adult life, I guess. Uh, the first one is a 93, tops of black gold, Greg Maddox in a PSA 8. Okay, love these cards. I've got, I don't know, six or seven, uh, but the rest of them are guys that I just didn't really think fit the smooth category. Uh, following him up is another Brave from that time period. It's the 96 finest Tom Glavin. Okay, hopefully you can see a little bit of shine there. Still has the protective coating. Okay. Um, following that is one of my all-time favorite uh, players. Just told a story. I made a video response for uh, Wade Boggs fan, uh, his 250 subscriber contest, and mentioned this guy. That's none other than Mr. Rodney Klein Carew. This is a uh, 77 tops and a PSA 7. Just got this one in. Uh, have a 75 and a 74 coming in here shortly, I hope. Should be in the mail this week. 
Uh, following that up uh, is the lone football player, and that is a 2000 Collector's Edge uh, uncirculated Jerry Rice in a mint nine. Okay, this was actually these actually came, I believe, in boxes of Collector's Edge back in the day, and uh, I'll put it over here. How that works? That's not too bad. Put it right above the beer there. You kind of see it. Um, Jerry Rice, one of those guys growing up. I uh, was a huge Joe Montana fan. I've got a love for Notre Dame. I can get into that in another video. But uh, great guy, uh, you know, still around the game, uh, dancing with the stars, all that other stuff. So the last card I'm going to show is one of is one of my top three all time favorite players. Very didn't hardly see him ever play. I uh, can vaguely remember him seeing him on TV once. Uh, unfortunately, he was with the Mets at the time. Might be a hint for some of you. And that is none other than Mr. Willie Mays. Okay, so here we have the uh, 72. This is an OPG, okay, but it's in a PSA 4. Looks really nice. Presents well uh, at the back there. See if that. Okay, so I appreciate everybody tuning in. I've been getting some good feedback uh, on this. Going to keep doing it. Got to get to the store. I've been in isolation due to an exposure with COVID. So all I can do right now is I go to work and teach, and then because I'm considered essential, and then I come home and drink beer most of the time, look at some cards, watch hockey, watch baseball. Uh, today, watch my Cyclones. Uh, hopefully not screwed up uh, down in Fort Worth. So uh, thanks for joining. If you enjoy it, let me know what you think of the beer, the cards, both, neither. Hey, that's why we're here. I love to interact. So till next time, Sci Guy, see ya.